today, um, my 28 year old son, Devante, sent me a text message. You know, we're all working from home and whatever we're doing, and it was in the middle of the day. And, and I know he texted me because it was the way that he could put his feelings into words. And so I text him back because, and I said to him, I'm texting you this back because I want these words to be words you can come back to when you need them. And I decided to do this video because it's been a hard, hard week and I have been on and off of social media because I needed to do that for myself and um but I'm doing this video and I'm actually going to post it on my social media partly because I also realized that part of the way that I continue to do the work that I know I'm called to do is to tell my truth and be honest about my own story, my own narrative. And a few weeks ago, um, I was on a just, you know, morning chat with my, my homeboy, James Hills, and we were talking about uh, Black mamahood. And so I'm really doing this video because I think it's important. Um, and I know other mothers feel what I'm feeling. And and I don't know, I feel call, called to to share it. Um, I don't do this that often, but it, it really was on my heart. So see this as me sharing with you a, a sort of letter and reminder um, to my son, um, because I know all of our sons need these reminders to our black sons and our black daughters. So here's what I said to him. I wrote it down because I need to. Um, Devante, I wish I could say I had an answer. I weep often and a whole lot more often this past week because grief and pain can feel unbearable at times. And each time another black person is murdered because of white supremacy, the rage and weariness gets heavier. And because I can't prevent the pain you are feeling that tra that re-traumatizes you each and every time. <laughs> and it's compounded and layered as this coronavirus pandemic also puts the traumatic reality of white supremacy in the black in the in black and brown people's lives behind each data point, each news story, each hard truth that floods social media. <laughs> I feel you and I see you, son. Langston Hughes poem, Mother to Son, is my truth every time I read it. And here's, here's the poem that I've shared with you at other times to encourage you. Well, son, I'll tell you, life for me ain't been no crystal stair. It's had tacks in it and splinters and boards torn up and places with no carpet on the floor, bare. But all the time I've been a climbing on and reaching landings and turning corners and sometimes going in the dark where there ain't been no light. So boy, don't you turn back. Don't you sit down on the steps cause you find, you find it's kind of hard. Don't you fall now for I still going, honey. I still climbing and life for me ain't been no crystal stair. This poem is a heart song for so many black mothers. It's heavy to live in a world that doesn't value our black selves, our black bodies, and all of its magnificence. And that's why it's so important that those in your inner circle love, respect, and value you and the people you're in relationships with, whether they're family or friends, in that same inner circle, keep it tight, are people that hold you up when you get weary. You don't need or deserve any sometime people in your inner circle. It's too dangerous. I know this shit sucks. I've been snot crying for days and I also know 
I also know it will take the collective of us to flip this world right side up. I won't ever quit. I know I have a job to do in my lifetime to do my part to co-create the world we deserve. That our ancestors deserved. We are our ancestors' wildest dreams. And in moments when it's so heavy, cry, hug, and heal with those you can trust and keep going. Don't give up. You are so loved. And don't let the darkness internally and externally leave you unplugged from that love. That's something that I say to myself often and I offer it to you because I'm definitely one of the folks that love you beyond words. I can't promise you safety and that breaks my heart. But I can promise you that we are in this living and loving together. Always and forever and I love you so much.